So you download the Mod Manager, Mod Assistant. You go ahead, you press the button accepting everything, and there's nothing there. Fortunately, you probably didn't do anything wrong. Unfortunately, this is where things are gonna get a little complicated. So today, I'm gonna show you how to install mods when this message pops up. And fortunately, well, let's just say the makers of Beat Saber made our lives a lot easier for this. Hello and welcome, my name is Wolfie, you're watching Greater Than Pi, and if this is your first video, thank you for finding this little tiny corner of the internet. If this is your second or third video, maybe consider subscribing, and if you are subscribed, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. Okay, so let's get right into it. What is going on with Mod Assistant and Beat Saber? There's actually a very good reason why there are no mods right now, and this problem will be fixed probably in the near future. But the main issue that it's currently happening is Beat Saber recently updated to a new version of Unity. And with that new version of Unity, things broke. They broke hard. And all the mod creators are doing their best to make mods for the game in their free time. You have to remember that mod makers do not do this for money or fame. They're doing this of their own free will. And because of that, they're only putting in as much time as they're able to. Effectively, from a development perspective, all of the mods have to be remade from scratch, thanks to this whole changeover in the Unity system. Fortunately though, Beat Games did think of that. And they released a beta path on Steam that's gonna make our lives so much easier. So let me show you how to actually use it and then get your mods installed. So to set this up, it's actually really straightforward. All we have to do is we got to locate our game in Steam. We've got Beat Saber. We go to Properties and then we go to Betas. From here, we're going to select the Legacy 1.29.1 Unity version 2019.f.28 F1 pre unity upgrade build. And this only really exists for the sake of modders. We go ahead and select that, close that, and it's going to just download it right away. And now you'll notice that your Beat Saber actually has this legacy 1.29.1 unity thing right next to it. And that just lets you know that, hey, it's in the beta mode. So don't try to buy any of the new DLCs and just kind of focus in on the old version. All we need to do is go to Mod Assistant. It's gonna load on up, check our version, make sure we're all good, and boom, there's our mods. Now, before we install any of these mods, it is best practice to actually run the game without any mods installed first, and then come in here and install the mods you want. Click the installer update, and you should be good to go. And you'll have a nice stable release that isn't getting updated a million and one times. Now, the only concern that I have is in the future, they can delete this beta branch to essentially force you to get onto a newer version of the game. But I think the whole reason they even put it in place in the first place was for modders to catch up first. Eventually, the mods will be back on the newest version. You'll be able to play the queen pack and mods in the same version of the game. Unfortunately, that's just not the case yet, but it will be. And I could tell you to just be patient and wait for the new mods to come out, or you can do this so that you can experience the mods while you wait. I hope this was helpful for you. And if it was, consider leaving a comment down below or even subscribing to this channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Wolfie, out.